Rock Wool Pro Rocks Pipe Section. Before any installation, as per Rock Wool Health and Safety Guidelines, the installer should take care of personal protection with relevant personal protection equipment. The pipe section should be cleaned against any dirt or debris before starting the installation of the rock wool insulation. The installation of insulation on pipe should be started from the curved surfaces, such as elbows. The curved surfaces of pipe should be installed by prefabricated insulation, which is fabricated according to the curve or elbow characteristics from the bottom to top one by one. The pipe section should be fabricated with proper tools. The fabricated insulation should be secured with galvanized binding wire or with steel bands. Then, the sharp leftover wire can be kept inside Rock Wool Pro Rocks pipe section for safety purpose. With horizontal pipes, the lengthwise joint of the pipe section should be turned towards the underside at the 6 o'clock position. For vertical pipes, the lengthwise joints should be staggered at an angle of 30 degrees to one another. While the pipe support section needs to be insulated, rock wool insulation has to be fabricated according to the size of pipe support in order to ensure that the insulation must not be damaged if the piping expands. While installing the rock wool pipe section on the straight pipe, 10 cm should be left from the elbow in order to fasten the insulation with wire or bands according to the installation standard for industrial insulation on pipe. Continue marking points at 30 cm from the first point and continue until the end of the pipe according to the installation standard for industrial insulation on pipe to fasten the rock wool pipe section firmly to the pipe with steel bands or wire. In some cases, there are gaps between insulation joints. Joints between the individual segments of insulation are plugged tightly with loose rock wool insulation in order to avoid thermal bridges. Suitable cladding should be applied to protect the insulation from weather influences, mechanical loads, and potentially corrosive pollution. For doing this, the cladding has to be installed from the bottom to top along the pipe. Then, the top cladding will overlap the bottom cladding by 70 mm or as per industry standard of installation. At the pipe support section, fabricate the cladding according to the pipe support size. Fasten sheet cladding with sheet metal screw or blind rivets at 150 mm center to center. We do not recommend to use aluminum screw. Before fastening the cladding with screw, tighten the cladding with belt and fraction of cladding can be used to prevent scratches on cladding from the belt. Once cladding is secured in the horizontal part, cladding can be installed on the elbow from the bottom to the top one by one. To prevent water and moisture ingress in the insulation material, all seams and joints can be sealed by silicone glue as per industry standard. If the installation is stalled during the day for a few hours, proper precautions should be taken on the installed rock wool pipe section products to prevent ingress of moisture, water, and rain by wrapping the insulation with plastic film. However, the installers need to be aware that they should install rock wool insulation products as much as they can install the cladding per day.